Welcome back, Unicorns, to another video. And today's video is a Face Mask Friday video. So if you want to see what mask I use today and hear all the information, stay tuned. So this week, me and Lori are going to be doing a watermelon mask. So it's like one in a million like type thing. That's what the title will be. That'll be a cute one to do and a cute save. I saw like this um, Valentine's card that I saw that wanted to do it so i got this this is the last one i got from karen garner that um face face mask shop um box i wanted to give away this is the last one i think or there might be one more left but this one's a double seven so jelly watermelon sheet mask and it looks like this and i thought it'd be pretty cute because it looks like a little face that has like little heart eyes and it's pink and it's so cute and I didn't have a watermelon um, headband, so I decided to use this cherry one because it has the colors and all that stuff um, on it. So that's what I used today. Um, this is the Vintage Company, I think. That's what the name of it is. So this one, this mask is moisturizing, dewy finish, nourish, and glow. And I will link it down below if I can find it. Um, and you leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to put... 15 minutes because I'm not going to keep it on that long. Um, I try to do the less amount of time because my skin. Um, but sometimes I do it more if I have to do something. Um, and then you just remove mask. It says rinse with more water to remove any residue. So if I feel like I have a lot on my face after the 15 minutes, then I'll wash it with um, more water. I don't like masks like that, but I like if it says on there, I just do it because. I don't want to have anything bad reaction to my face if I leave it, do leave it on. But that's what I just say. Um, and yeah, so this seems really nice. Can't wait to open it um, and use it. Hopefully it's not too strong of watermelon. Um, but I'll let y'all know when the second part where I show you what the mask looks like and then apply the timer. And then um, I will talk about after I show you the mask what I'm going to be doing next. So let me go apply this and then I'll be right back. like on it's just a like white like a plain mask and it did have like a little pinky tinge to it when i first opened it it's very um thick not the mask part but the serum that's on it so there is a lot of serum in this which is very nice and very hydrating it doesn't really smell like watermelon to me but it's not so strong so i'm happy about that and i did apply the 15 minutes i just wish i had this little character on it this um little watermelon character that would have been so cute i know some of them that i tried in the past from the box i got from carol um had like little prints on it and it was like i got the one that was the uh candy hearts um one i used like last year and it was so much fun to use um i'll link some of those videos if i remember but just check out the playlist the face mask friday playlist and um see all the masks i used and as well from that box and i will link carol's channel down below um and show her some love and tell her i sent you if you're new to her she does mainly unboxings um i think she might she does mask mondays 
and some other things so you should go check out show them up i'll link them so yeah um there is a lot of serum in this packet but i never use a serum in it because um i just don't but um yeah so uh the next thing i'm gonna be doing is showing some of my favorite um items for the month um that i think I'd say some because they're not, and I just did Valentine's thing, so I think that would be great for Valentine's gift if you do, like, a Valentine's basket for somebody, like a friend or, you know, a loved one you have, like a um, boyfriend or girlfriend or something, if your boyfriend wants to give it to you, or, you know, if you want to have it for your friend. I thought these would make good um, gifts. I wanted to share them. Um, I just thought of this idea because I didn't have nothing to share, and I thought I'm going to share something since it's almost Valentine's Day and give y'all, like, a gift idea. Um, just in case you want to make a basket and you don't really know what to give. If I don't have something and I have an idea, I will show y'all, I mean, tell y'all it. But these are just some of my favorite items that I think will make perfect gifts, so I'm going to share them next. And then we'll be done with this video after that, so I hope y'all do enjoy it. Make sure, um, I'll tell y'all now, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And comment down below if you um, tried this mask before from W7. Let me know your thoughts on it. Or if you tried anything of the goodies I share in today's video, let me know. So let's get started with the sharing of the goodies I got. So um, the first thing I have is a, would be a great one. It's a set that I got um, for Christmas. I think a perfume and a body lotion would be great for Valentine's Day because you know it's winter time and you need to um, hydrate your skin and you know to smell good. And it's a very nice um, way to give a gift. This one's from. Bath and Body Works called Champagne Toast, and I really do enjoy it. Um, the fragrant notes are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. The main, the main one I smell is the tangerine. I haven't tried the lotion yet, um, but when I do, I'll let y'all know. Um, but it's 24 hour moisture. It has shea butter and hyaluronic acid. I love when lotions have hyaluronic acid in it. That's why I think the two um, items will be great for in the basket. Um, another perfume I have idea, um, is like a sweet perfume, so this one's the bubblegum scented one I got from Forever Shine Cosmetics, I'll link them, not cosmetic, collections, I'll link them down below, they are a small business, I do have a code for them, if you want to check them out, they make, um, she makes handmade items, but also she, um, brings in other small businesses to have in her boxes or in her owner store to, you know, help them sell them out, so, it's a really good brand you should check out another thing i think will be good for the set is like a bath bomb if they like taking baths or a shower steamer or like you know body wash and all that stuff um if they don't really like doing bath bombs and stuff i think that would be a good idea another one will be like a cute face mask if they like doing spa things like that and then something to go with their face mask will be like a spa headband like this pink one I have or this one if you want to do fruit themed. I think these will make good gifts in the self-care one. Um, and the last two things that I talk about that will go good with the self-care is a lip balm. So I have this EOS one which is strawberry. Um, I got this um, uh, cash back thing I did off of Influencer. And then this one I got from... Susan just making it. I really love this um, lip balm. I got it for a, a birthday present. It's so cute. It has a little heart in the front of it and it's like see through um, plastic. This one is the Love You Straw Very Much. So, what you do is you do this. I can get it open. But sometimes this is hard to open because if I have something in my um, hands, but this is what it looks like. And it smells so good. It moisturizes your lip very well. It kind of reminds me of my childhood in a way um because of the cute little cute packaging um but i'll link susan just making it down below if you want to go check her out and show her some love um she's the one that gifted me it and she is an amazing um youtuber you should really go check her out um and tell her i've seen you as well and i'll have all the channels that i mentioned down below if you want to go check them out and um tell them i sent you they really appreciate it so yeah let's get on with the next ideas i have so the next idea i have that you could add to the valentine's basket is like candies if they love candies um like you know candy hearts or chocolates and stuff maybe a card if it's um you know if you want to add that as well um i think that'll make a good gift basket so that's why i want to share some of these ideas i have 
and some of my favorites I've been loving and give y'all like an idea just in case y'all need some for like gifts you can also add um like jewelry if they love that type of thing if it's um you know your girlfriend or something if you want to make a basket for them you're gonna add jewelry and stuff they like that type of thing and it's a good way to be you know to have a self-care day and you can also a fun way I saw some ladies do on TikTok is they would friends will make them for each other and they will swap them and then they would do a self-care day together which is so nice you know do like a face mask some lotion and stuff like that um just have a spa day you can also put like a foot mask in there or hand masks um and stuff like that maybe some fuzzy socks to um add after you do a foot mask so that'd be very nice um i didn't bring any with me so can't show you like my socks or anything but fuzzy socks would be great valentine's scheme socks stuff like that so yeah that's all I have to share today. Um, I will link really, the items I shared down below if you want to get for yourself. I really do recommend you check out this small business that does perfume. She's a really amazing lady. And I love that um, she put this in my box and wanted to, um, me to share it, show, um, test it out and stuff. Um, she did give me a PR and I really love the smell of this. It's so sweet and I love the smell. And she handmade this because her logo is on it. And she has it does have an Etsy shop. And if you do use my code, let me know in the comments down below. I really do appreciate it if you do. I think it's, I can't remember the exact number, but I'll link it down below. It's some percentage off of, um, the number that you make. Like, I think it's like $40 or more or something like that. So just look, check out the description to see when you can use that code. And yeah, I think that's all I talk about. Um, again, I will link the mask down below if you want to get it for yourself as well as Lori's channel if you want to see what watermelon mask she's using today you um, should really appreciate if you go check her out and um, to see what she's doing today I don't know exactly what um, else she's doing in her video she usually does like unboxings or stuff like that like her subscription box unboxings um so yeah if you something that you enjoy like a masking unboxing video you should really go check her out and yeah, I want to see how much time is left and I'll come back up in the 15 minutes and take this mask off with y'all and tell you my thoughts. So it's been the 15 minutes, now it's time to take this off. I'll let you know when I rub it in if there's too much on my face. Um, I don't know how well you're going to see the pink color, but it's like a little tinge of pink, which is very nice. And again, it didn't really smell like watermelon to me. Like, I don't know what the smell is. Like something sweet, but not watermelon. So I'm just going to rub some into my skin and then after I get done with the video, if I feel like there's still some, I'll wash it off. But I don't want most of the stuff to absorb into my skin so, um, you know, I get the benefits of it. And because um, I feel like sometimes when you wash it out with warm water, you get most of the stuff off your skin. But it dried on my hands I had none, so I didn't feel like no sticky layer or anything. But yeah. If I feel like after I get done with this video, if I have to wash off, I will. And that's why I recommend if there's a lot on your face to do that, just in case something happens. I don't know what will happen. There might be like an ingredient in there that irritates the skin if it's been too long, too long. I don't know, but I just recommend to do what the directions say just in case to be on the safe side. But my front, my face feels very hydrated. The serum's not sticky or anything. Um, and I love the glow that gave my skin. I don't know how well y'all want to see that. I usually see it on my nose a lot um but i love the glow it's very hydrating i feel like it's great for the winter time because sometimes a lot of people get dry during the winter because of the coldness um i keep up on my, um, my uh, moisturizer on my face so i don't get that dry but if i miss a day that's when i get dry like right here above my cheeks sometimes around my eye area i get dry and then the rest of my face is like pretty like oily so i say my skin type is combination but more oily than dry it gets more dry during the winter time or if i miss out on moisturizing day that's when i notice it but yeah i just want to let y'all know my skin type and i do have sensitive skin some ingredients do irritate my skin and it's usually like galaconic acid um that ingredient i do have a toner in that ingredient but i haven't had any irritations because i don't use that every time i use that like maybe once a week or so that toner um just to be on the safe side but it hadn't irritated me but it does tingle a little bit on my face but that's what mainly happens when i use um galaconic acid which supposed to help with your pores and stuff but that's the only ingredients i know 
or if it stays on there, I not stay for sensitive skin. I usually, if I do use it, um, if I do use it, I uh, make sure to do less amount of time on the mask or, you know, not use it at all. Um, I think I only have, like, one mask that, that set it on, but, yeah, so I like to do and says that. But, yeah, it feels like it absorbed in very well, so I don't have to wash it off. I don't feel none on my skin. It's a little tacky, so I might do the next thing in my skincare routine, or sometimes if I let that tackiness layer absorb into my skin, that tackiness will go away. But I haven't had any problems where it stays sleep tacky. It's just that um, until it absorbs all the way in, I don't feel that anymore. But, yeah, I really did enjoy this mask. Um, I'm happy that Lori wanted to do this theme with me. Um, every month, or not every month, this month and all the days in this month were the one Valentine's themed mask. So I hope you stay tuned for the next one to see what we do. And we're doing it all month long because I love doing when there's a holiday celebrate all month long instead of just the first 14 days and stuff. So, um, yeah. Uh, and I got to pick out the themes this month because, you know, I want to do that Valentine's theme. And she was, we didn't have to change any of them. So that was very nice and can't wait for the next one for y'all to see. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Again, I'll make sure to link the mask down below just in case you want to get it for yourself um, and for Valentine's Day or, you know, any day. And I will link the products I talked about um, today in this video if you want to get it for yourself. Um, and lastly, I will link the playlist for Face Mask Friday. If you want to go see any more videos on, on my channel that's um, masking related, you can check out that playlist. And don't forget to check out Lori's channel and see what mask she's doing today. And the ladies I shout out that day, make sure you go check out their channels and subscribe to them if you're new to them. They really appreciate it. And I think that's it. I always forget something. I forgot to mention this is an open collab. Anyone can join in on Face Mask Friday. All you have to do is tag me or Lori in your first video and um, use that hashtag in your title, which is hashtag Face Mask Friday. If you want to see any other ladies that joins in on Face Mask Friday, click that hashtag and it should send you all the videos that are for Face Mask Friday. Um, and I love seeing any new unicorns join in. So please, if you can, take a day and do a mask if you want a great start to your weekend. I really do appreciate anybody that joins in on this collab. Um, it makes me happy to see them because mainly most of the ladies here on YouTube do it on Mondays. So I feel like I want to do it on Fridays is why I started this collab on my channel. Um, I started the, like, the beginning of my, I started my channel and really did enjoy doing it. And then I was so excited when Lori wanted to join in with me and we do fun masks together. Um, we always do a theme each week. Um, uh, so we can have a leeway on what mask we want to do instead of using the same mask. And then sometimes we use the same mask or the same brand and it's very fun. But if we do have the same mask, we just let each other know and then we put that into the month, into our like schedule and do it. Um, so yeah, that's what we usually do. So like last month we did that eye mask together that we got in our Ipsy bag. So um, yeah, if we know we have the same mask from something, we try to do them together. Um, but if not, we stick with that theme, and it's so much fun to do a theme in that video that day. So, I was, um, excited for it. So, I hope y'all are excited to see the Valentine's themed mask each, um, day in February. I will let you know in your comments if you do. And now I think that's it. I think I got everything that I need to talk about. So, yeah. So, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you enjoyed seeing this masking video. Let me know if you used this mask before or if you heard of it. Um, or if you go check it out, let me know if you get it for yourself and try it out. Let me know in the comments. Or if any of the products that I shared were great to you, let me know as well. If you would get them as give them as gifts or if you would love to give get them as gifts, I would love to know. Um, and these can be gifts for anything. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day, but I just thought I would share some that I think will be perfect gifts for Valentine's Day in this video so y'all have an idea of what to give somebody. Um, and lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the Unicorn family. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload. And unicorns, always be yourself. Bye.